Margaret Evangeline is perhaps best known for her use of gunshot and mirror polished stainless steel paintings. She is the recipient of awards from the Paula Krasner Foundation and the New York Foundation for the Arts. So do you, does your work reflect a sense of community or? I, I'm sure it must. I think everything is sort of grist for the mill. Santa Fe offered a residency to any artist from New York who wanted to apply to, to, to go and they just, they took everybody that they could yeah. by how you applied. And when I got there, it was it totally changed me again, but that's when I started sh shooting through the stainless steel works because there was this big sky out there and the polished stainless steel uh -huh. uh, would reflect the sky. But to do it, I had to be much more involved with the community. When you get to know everybody out there, you get a different sense of community in it. It, it comes out and in the work. And how it's impacting the actual work itself. Yeah, and, and so it was uh, good to get away from just So what, what exactly is a residency program? Artists are invited to go to certain places and have a certain amount of time to spend if they want to be in isolation with their work in a different way, if they're working on a new project or, they're, or if they just want to meet the audience in that part of the country, it's a good way to do it. But I think the main thing that comes out of that is meeting all these wonderful artists from different places, other cultures. And when you start to talk, you find out that you've all been thinking about pretty much the same specific issues from culture to culture, but there's something running, some thread that's running through it. Would you describe some of the work you're currently engaged in? Right now I'm working um, on a commission for a public sculpture at Michigan State, mm. but they ran into, well, a caveat that no gunshots were to be used in this, which you can kind of understand. I learned to shoot on my grandfather's form before I went to school and then forgot about it. So the first time I shot again was actually at Art Oh My. And I just realized how the world had changed and you had this whole feeling of since the Kennedy assassination, things are different. And different relationship to guns. Right. Yeah. So it brought up a lot of those questions that do inform the work for me. Right. And another project I'm working on is um, a proposal because I was nominated to do um, a Smithsonian res artist research program. And I can't, everyone said, okay, the natural thing is to go into explosives and there'll be this fabulous cache of things to do. But in this whole, anytime something seems logical, I just can't restrain myself from doing the illogical. <laughs> so I decided that maybe I want to research Jacqueline Kennedy <laughs> and why, because that, that elliptically in, includes the whole, the history of the violence in our country and yeah. what, what, it, what it did, still, it does always seem to get back to violence. So mm -hmm. I thought it would be a good mm -hmm. thing to do. What do you think the role of the artist is in society? The role of the artist is not to despair, but to take those very tragic, painful things and turn them into something that gets you beyond it. And if not transcend, that makes it into some other reality that's very hopeful. Mm. Thank you so much. Thanks, Joy, yeah, for being here.